Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the imperative of reflexive verbs. That means that we're going to be making commands and suggestions while using our reflexive verbs. Here are some examples. Assez-vous. Sit down. Lève-toi. Get up. Ne te couche pas. Don't go to sleep. For nous and vous, it's actually pretty simple. We're just going to attach the reflexive pronoun to the end of the verb with a hyphen. For example, réveillez-vous. Wake up. Our reflexive pronoun is vous, so we put that at the end of our verb. Or like this one, asseyons-nous. Let's sit down. We take our reflexive pronoun nous and we attach it to the verb. You'll notice here that we're not using our subject pronouns, nous and vous. So, vous only appears once, and nous only appears once. If we're giving a command or making a suggestion to someone who we would call tu, it changes a little bit. The reflexive pronoun tu becomes toi, and it also attaches to the end of the verb with a hyphen. For example, réveille-toi, wake up or assieds-toi, sit down. So we don't say tu, assieds-toi, we don't use our subject pronoun, right? Because we don't say you sit down, we just say sit down. Um, now remember that any verb that ends in es for tu loses the s in the command form, in the imperative. So normally we would say tu te réveille with an ES ending. Now, in the command form, we're going to take this S off. Notice that it's missing. And we're going not to use the subject pronoun, just like with nous and vous. And our um, reflexive pronoun tu becomes toi. Now, for negative commands, telling someone not to do something, it's even simpler. The reflexive pronoun stays in front of the verb. So the word order is much more similar to what we've been familiar with so far. For example, ne vous asseyez pas, don't sit down, or ne te lève pas, don't get up. Notice that the reflexive pronoun is in front of the verb. The reflexive pronoun is in front of the verb, and in each example, both of these words are surrounded by ne and pas. So hopefully today's video has helped you to understand how to use the imperative to make commands or give suggestions using reflexive verbs. As always, if you have any questions at all, please let me know.